I wonder what the problem with him was. It's much worse than that, what? actually. Pardon? I think it's much worse than that. I think that was a very yeah. mild case of insomnia. Yeah. I very, very mild. <laughs> Why is it that when you, when you can't get to sleep or when you wake up in the middle of the night, everything is totally out of proportion? The smallest worry kind of gets blown up to almost suicidal proportions. That's right. Um, you know, I've had the same problems as well. Yeah. I mean, you wake up, it's quiet, you're alone, mm. it's dark, and your mind, of course, is working overtime. It's in top gear, on the negative side, the worries, etc. Um, the darkest it hour is before dawn, Chris. Yes, yes. Oh, and uh, isn't it true that most, most people who are seriously ill, they tend to die, don't they? Um, just as, as the attacks, tide is going out in the night. Heart attacks tend to occur four to five o'clock in the morning. Yes, uh, yes. Commonly, you know, I mean, they occur at the times of the day as well. And people slip but, away at that time as well, Yes, they? yes, those yeah. early hours of the day are rather sort of... Um, <clears throat> uh, Eerie. ...frightening. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. indeed. So what can you do without resorting to sleeping pills? Oh, you can do a lots, lots of things. I mean, the, um, the sort of steps you could take are make sure you go to bed at the same time every night. You must have a routine of going to bed at the same time, Set your alarm to get up at the same time the next morning. Don't oversleep, even at weekends. Um, when you're up during the day, no cat napping, no matter how tired you feel. Before going to bed, don't drink tea, coffee, cola drinks, hot chocolate or alcohol. Hot chocolate? Hot chocolate contains. Oh, well, it does. It contains a substance called theobromine. That's a stimulant. Yeah. So, if you're going to bed, what you should be doing is having maybe hot milk or hot Horlicks or hot Ovaltine. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, these do not contain stimulants. Many people will drink tea or coffee, you know, before going to bed. Mm. The caffeine in there can affect your sleep pattern. But how much of it is psychological? I mean, for example, I mean, I have insomnia occasionally, and I don't know if it's the same with you, but I find that. Let's say I'm awake from three in the morning until quarter to six, and the alarm's going off at five past six, and at ten to six I fall asleep. Well, it's called it's, sod's law. It's it? sod's law, absolutely. Why absolutely. does that happen? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, obviously, you, you're just getting more and more tired, and you're going off then. The thing to do is if you can't sleep, don't lie there worrying about it. Get up, get out of bed, go downstairs, make yourself a, 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 milky, drink. a milky drink, sit there and read a novel, just relax, li listen to some relaxing music, and then when you feel sleepy, come back to bed again and try again. If that doesn't work, you go downstairs and try again. Because that tired, don't you find that tiredness comes in sort of waves? It's like surfing, it's like catching the wave to actually get back to sleep again, and yes. you can get becalmed between them. Yeah? And that's what happens during sleep. Your sleep is going through phases of, course, of yeah. deep sleep and light Shallow sleep, sleep. And when you dream and you don't dream. Well, you brought your usual bag of tricks with you. <laughs> well, Never comes empty-handed, Chris, I can tell you. <laughs> I love props. <laughs> I know you do, I know you do. You're a real actor. That's a herbal pillow, isn't it? Yes. Um, th the idea here is that you put this on, 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 on your pillow uh, and go to sleep, and it gives off vapours through the night. Have you smelt this? It's nice, but I couldn't sleep with it, yeah. so to speak. Oh, I think it's a thousand. It, it's oh, hops. It's like cat catnip. <laughs> <laughs> hops. Right. Uh, yeah. And, you know, they're supposed to have a, a, a soporific effect right. upon you. Um, sometimes these work for some people, sometimes they don't. There are other herbal preparations. You right. make teas, etc. Well, this is just right. by way of an, an entree, because you're yes. going to be coming back later on. Yes, indeed. And going through all these with the, with the callers. OK, so if you're having problems, nodding off, I don't know, maybe you're on a sleeping tablet course and you're worried about that, uh, maybe you've tried everything and you just don't know what else to do, give Chris a call now, 051 555 1000. Well, talking about lying awake worrying about the shopping, which I do, I know it's trivial, but I do, it's even worse this week because the bank holiday's looming. Here's a few tips to this week's <laughs> best buys. He sleeps, he winks. So you can sleep in peace.